Hey Sakafed guys, after unlocking, rooting and fixing RCD, the playlist is in the description and not there. I went ahead and searched for the best Magisk modules for the LG G7 and guess what? Nothing really amazing, um, for my use case anyways. I mean, what are those? Anyways, this will be my top 6 plus Magisk modules that I use for my G7. The first one is a fast charge module made by Nazila. I've been using it for at least three months now and the reason why I like it is because fast charge generally cuts off when the screen is on, but with this module, it doesn't until the phone gets too hot. Okay, imagine you're in a situation where you either have to let your screen off to have the maximum charge possible in a short amount of time, or having it on to avoid missing on something and having slow charge. Now you can do it at the same time. Or you can just go OnePlus with their fast charge. Anyways, my other reason is that one side of my USB port doesn't work anymore. I have to charge it this side face up or it'll slow charge. My phone only charge at 2.5 amp and 3 volt. I'm guessing it's slow because phones nowadays charge at 18 watts and even 40 watts. But I usually get slower charge with the without the module. So and I almost forget. I rarely charge with fast charge. I have another slow charger or I charge via USB, so don't comment down there that I'm killing my battery. And the second one, and the, the following one, the, buff, the buffer fix. If you've ever tried to install GKMK on your G7, you know, you know that it's frustrating to know that you can't have the freedom to use all the apps available out there because of the lag on the viewfinder. And uh, welcome to this module named Buffer Fix made by Wirog Zen. How it works is by fixing the mismatch frame rates that GKM expects from the phone for the preview of for, for it to um, avoid the viewfinder lag. Now you just have to test the plethora of apps out there to find which one fits you better. With the arrival of the new Android 10 gesture, the native support of Custom Launcher was broken for the majority of the smartphones. While full system gestures are now controlled by Android itself, with Quick Step you can change the default provider to another launcher which is installed via Magisk, the OnePlus launcher. The reason why I like it is the preview icon down there and the overall smoothness compared to the stock launcher and also the native support of icon packs. And this one is really important is to have um, home screen layout only. Don't judge me, I hate the vertical scroll just because you have no real window to icon animation because swiping, swiping home goes straight to the desk, desktop and the driver don't remember the last place you were at. So only home for me, please. This module is also made by Nazida and what it does is making the touch responsiveness better, thus giving you a smoother experience when using the phone. I've been using it for at least, I don't know, since um, December last year, and free feel to test it. Um, it. And there are a few more modules that I used to have installed, but some updates got them used on unusable, like the full screen immersive modules that got rid of the background of the um, gesture. Um, but don't forget, you can run into a boot loop if you flash a bad module or one that is conflicting with the other ones. But fear not, I'm here for this. In my next video, I will show you what to do if you get into a boot loop caused by you and by Magisk. So, well, that's been it for today's video. Leave a like and subscribe if it was useful. And if, you liked support, uh, if, you, if you'd like to support me also. My name is Kensei and I will see you in the next video.